Hornwort is an aquatic weed, introduced to New Zealand via the aquarium trade in the 1960s. Since then, it's moved through the North Island's waterways. It's also reached the South Island. It's a threat to hydropower stations, aquaculture operations, reservoirs and irrigation systems. John Clayton from Niwa explains. It's basically a plant that uh, can grow in a wide range of habitats. And it grows really, really tall, dense, and it displaces all our native plants. Uh, it has quite a big impact on water quality and in the, in the lakes and ponds and reservoirs uh, and drainage irrigation ditches where it grows. Hornwort is ranked as one of our highest aquatic weeds in terms of a model that we developed to describe risk. And to give you a comparison, I mean, everybody knows about Didymo. Uh, Hornwort actually scores quite a bit higher than Didymo, so we would actually rank that as a more serious weed. It's been around for quite some time, but it's an unwanted organism in the South Island. It's the highest rating you can get. That's a MAF biosecurity ranking, which means that it has to be eradicated at all costs there. So there have been a couple of incursions in the South Island, so they're fairly well known, and that they've been successfully eradicated as far as we know at this stage. This shows where Hornwood first came into the country, 1961 in the Hawke's Bay region. That was through the aquarium trade. Next it appeared in 1963 at the top of the Waikato Hydro Lake, also associated with uh, thermal water, it would have been Golden Springs. Uh, but once it got into the hydro lakes, from there it just worked its way right down through all these hydro lakes. And since the 60s we can see the spread that's taken place has just continued to spread. And it's all these dots on the North Island represent sites where it's found now. It's not in every region yet, but it's certainly spread uh, through most of the North Island. These red dots show where it has been found and eradicated in the South Island. It's an unwanted organism in the South Island, so any finding MAF being said are out there to get rid of it. This plant is commonly known as hornwort. It uh, grows submerged, but the interesting thing about it, it does, doesn't actually have any roots. Uh, now that has quite a bearing in terms of the type of problems it presents because it means that when you get a lot of weed it's quite easy for it to get um, uh, washed out and this is a problem in hydro lakes and rivers where with a bit of water flow and a lot of weed building up this will just break away and form rafts that just floats down through the lakes and rivers there. These can actually be as long as six or seven metres long two or three storeys high, uh, and it grows down to a depth of about 10 metres. We're looking at ways in which we can control it there, and one of the ways is looking at possible herbicides that can be used. We've got uh, two products here that can actually nail the target weed and not even affect uh, some of our main native plants there, and have no impact on uh, native fauna, fish and uh, mussels and kura. The other approach that we're looking at is a natural organism. It's a, a fungus that is found naturally in lakes, on plants, including on native plants as well. And we've just been growing it up, culturing it, and putting it back into the water at higher dose rates or higher levels so it can actually um, have an impact on the plant. We're on Lake uh, Karapiro, and this is the lowest of the hydro lakes on the Waikato chain. And it's an example of uh, one of the weed problems that have been affecting uh, international rowing competitions. So there's been a, quite a program of work run by Linz and we've been working on that as well, just to try to keep on top of that weed. So how much, how much weed is down there at the moment? Pretty much a complete cover. Yeah, right down at the bottom? Yeah, right down at the bottom. Yeah. It's uh, not too tall at the moment, but in yeah. the middle of summer it'll be wall to wall. Yeah. Now this is the sort of stuff that you find underneath this weed bed. It grows so tall and dense that it produces a lot of organic matter. As it breaks down, it rots on the bottom. And this, this just goes black, horrible, no oxygen, nothing really living in it. What you should normally find living in the bottom of a lake freshwater mussels, or kākahi. It's not really good for a lot of things, really. It's not good for fish, it's not good for wildlife, it's not good for things living on the bottom, not good for water quality. 
We have to be particularly careful as divers working in water, making sure that we decontaminate all our gear when we're coming out. On the floor of a boat, in the bilge water, uh, on the props, on the trailers, uh, even on the anchors, you know, put an anchor out on the stuff and you pull up your anchor, it's just covered in weed. Uh, and that can live for a long time, like literally days and days inside the anchor well, where it stays nice and moist. You really only need a small, a small fragment. I mean, li literally just a small piece of weed like that, 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 that's enough to actually start a whole new weed bed. And that's pretty easy to just not see. It can be caught, caught up anywhere in your gear or on your trailer and boat. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.